Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the project feature. But we're going to cr be creating a uh, cylinder, a round part, and we're going to pr be projecting text onto that. So we're going to go ahead and go to File, create a new design. Then we can go ahead and um, actually, you know what? We can just draw in the this mode here, which is the isometric. So we're going to make sure that our snaps are on. We're going to go ahead and click in the middle there. And we're going to drag out 30 millimeters. And then we're going to pull. Uh, we'll pull this up. Actually, but I don't want that much. 20. Let's just go 20. Yeah, 20 is good. Okay, we're going to create a basic cylinder there. Let's pan this over. And then we'll do a control plus to zoom in. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and um, go click on the uh, insert plane. And then we're going to come down here and let's go. Let's create these planes here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and move this plane. So we're going to click on it. We're going to grab that blue arrow and we're just going to drag it out just so it's not touching right there okay now I don't need these so we'll go ahead and get rid of those okay now we're gonna go ahead and select the tool we're gonna click on the plane there and come up here to plan view select that so it moves okay now we're gonna do a control plus get the pan and we'll just pan over so this is in the middle here now we're gonna go ahead and get this tool up here which is your dimension tool and we're basically just going to click here and then just click we'll put that in the middle actually we'll just put that there like this okay now we're going to um, click double click on the text till everything is selected and we're going to just type design spark mechanical all right now we're going to go ahead and uh, click till everything is till you see this black square and then you're going to come over here to this box we're going to make this bold and then you're going to go three and a half is good i might make it four and a half so we're going to go change the font up here so we'll click this little down arrow and we'll go to swiss black i want that to be don't need to make it bold i want it to be at a little bit thicker than that font that we had okay so now we want to click off that we want to click here Go ahead and get your select tool. We don't need that. We can get rid of that. Oh, actually undo. We'll click there and then we'll go get the select. And we want to just kind of drag this over here like this. Now, one thing to be aware of is the text should not be bigger than the actual plane. So what we need to do is go ahead and click till everything's selected and let's drop down that arrow there and we'll try uh, 2.5 alright 2.5 is good so we'll go ahead and click on everything we'll do the select I'm gonna try to center that a little bit better okay right there should be good now we're gonna go ahead and spin this so we can see it make sure that it's on, that's there on there straight okay now we're gonna go with the text selected we're going to hit project we're going to hit project here okay now we have it right here okay so once you once it's projected you don't need the plane you can go ahead and get rid of the plane and you don't need the text so so this is going to be our, our design spark mechanical text and i'm going to go ahead and add some extra stuff on here maybe make this a uh, kind of a cap we'll sink that in a little bit we'll add a couple of fillets to these All right, we'll do like this and then we'll add a fillet here now we'll go ahead and spin this we'll get the cylinder and then we'll add a cylinder here at the bottom 
Maybe about like that. We'll do pull. And we'll pull that about right there. Okay, so now we have like kind of a little like cap. And then I'm going to do the same thing there. I'm going to add a fillet to the inside there. And then maybe add, we'll leave that flat. So we'll go ahead and go to the isometric view. And now the last thing that you want to do with the text is you'll have to kind of zoom in out to do this. So we'll go ahead and select by holding down the control key. We'll get all the characters. Now I don't get the inside, just get the outside. These little, some of these characters like this A here, or the A and the R have inside pieces as well. Don't have to worry about those, just get the ones on the outside. Okay, make sure you have control held down. Now you're going to come up here to the pool and you're going to add a little bit of depth to this. Don't add too much. Maybe 0.37 millimeters and then we'll let go. Uh, the more text you have, the longer Design Spark Mechanical takes to actually uh, do the function. So you have to give it a second. Now we'll select the click off. And this is how you would add text to a cylinder. So you got this this little uh, Design Spark Mechanical text. And you would be able to add numbers as well. If you wanted to add a number, you do the same process. Come up here to the plane, and then you would click insert a plane, and then you're going to go to your move. Select there, you're going to grab the blue, the dark blue arrow, or the navy blue, and you'll come out here like this. Then you'll go to uh, plan view. Say we wanted to add a, a big number there. I'll just make up a number, 127. So we would go do the same process there. Go to the dimensions. We would click this face here. Click there. And then just put this where you want it to be. One in the middle there. And then we would go to double click on that. We do 127. Then we'd click till everything's selected. We'd come up here and make this bigger. So we'd go down to 10. Maybe make that nine. Okay, so there's nine. And then we would go click off of it. Then we would go ahead and spin the part so we can see it when it projects. And then we would go ahead and project. Click that. You got to click that. So you got to select the text uh, so it's got that black or gray mark around it. Now it's projected it, so we're okay. So we could go ahead and click that check but button there and then just delete the plane now we have 127 there so that's we'll go ahead and spin this number doesn't really mean anything it's just a demonstration to show you guys how to how to do this so we'll go ahead and highlight these or select these we'll go to pull and then we'll add a little bit of uh, depth to this Uh, let's go 0.62 and then we'll go ahead and click the select to click off. Okay, so there's your uh, Design Spark Mechanical 127. Um, and then we could put something up here too. Let's go ahead and do that. So you get a good understanding of how to do this. So we'll go ahead and go select plane. We're going to click, we'll click there. Okay, now we're going to go ahead, is this, okay, that plane is already not in the center, so it's already in a good spot. So we'll go ahead and uh, click on this plane here, go to plan view, we'll get our um, measuring or dimensional tool, we'll click here. Let's go in the middle there, let's click. Okay, let's click. Now we'll double click till everything is selected. 
and then we're going to come up here to the font we're going to go down to maybe five point and then we'll uh, change this we're going to put not for resale something like that okay now we can go ahead and select click off we'll click on it and we're going to get our select tool and then we're going to click and drag okay this is still a little bit too big uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, click till everything's selected and this little box pops up and then we'll go down to 3.5 well, actually let's make this four okay we'll do four okay now we'll do click off here with this selected we're going to go ahead and spin this now we'll go ahead and do the project give it a second okay now it's projected so you can click that green one I mean it works whether you click it or not so we'll just go ahead and click it now we'll go ahead and click on the plane and hit delete and then now we have this uh, not for resale design spark mechanical and 127 so now we just have to add some depth to this we can zoom in so do a control plus hold down control don't get the insides of the letters just get the, the middle part okay now go ahead and pull and then we'll give this a little bit of depth 0 0.3 that's good give it a second and then once it gets to that point it's done so you can click off of it okay we'll go ahead and view this by uh, isometric okay here's our, um, our little cap here that we added all this text to not for resale design spark mechanical 127 uh, so this is how you would add text to anything that's uh, cylindrical or round um, you go ahead and use this uh, this process here putting the plane in go ahead and use your uh, project once you uh, specify what the types going to be and you specify the type size type f the font face then you go ahead and project make sure that you this the text is selected and then I uh, just go ahead and um, put that on there okay that's going to end today's tutorial hopefully you enjoy watching and you got something useful out of the video thanks again for watching